Hello, welcome to my tech farm. This is ECMR P2, a first laser engraver which uh, has the linear rays on X and Y axis. I simply don't understand. I mean, these machines uh, cost about $1,000, and some manufacturers still try to save a few bucks using those rubber wheels. The engraving area is 420 by 400 millimeters. And it is available in different strength. This is 33 watt uh, version, but it is available in 10 and 20 watts. Uh, this is the real optical power. And it has automatic air assist pump, which is uh, good because uh, since I'm using the light burn, uh, I have that advantage that I can turn on and off the pump by software. Because don't forget, with engraving, you don't want to use the air assist pump only for the cutting. The graving speed can be up to 30,000 mm per minute. This is quite good speed, but probably you can use it maybe with some engravings only because with cutting you will go slower. And it has uh, multiple safety measures like safety lock, flame detector, anti-tilt if you tilt it above 15 degrees, emergency stop button. Now, Ekmer asked me to mention this, but depends when you are watching this video. There will be an event where we have a chance to win the big prizes, and it's called Engrave Your Law with Ekmer. There will be a link down in the description. And as always, few words about the safety. These are tools which require some safety equipment. The most important are glasses, but for everybody in that room, not only for the operator. And uh, it has to be good ventilated room. And if you use it regularly, then build some kind of enclosure for it. Or actually, you can buy some DIY enclosure, even from the ECMR. And uh, don't forget, you never leave the laser engraver without the attention. Now, let's see what's in the box. Now, in a separate box, I got these sample materials for the testing. And ECMR has asked me to use these materials in the video. But I told them that I have my standard materials I'm regularly using in this compression video. So, the results are comparable with each other. At the end, I will use some of these, especially I'm curious about this 30 mm thick black acrylic, or maybe also this one is also 30 mm thick. Then we have some stainless steel, leather, plywood, glass. This will be interesting. Everything is nicely protected in this black foam, and it is good to see that this frame is almost completely assembled. <laughs> Even the packaging gives us the feeling of the premium product. Let's open these boxes. I'm not sure where to start. So these are the safety glasses, power adapter, the output is 24 volts and 6 ampere, and this is the power cable for it. Key USB drives, uh, micro SD card, tools, spare lenses. These are sample materials, and <laughs> this is what I really like, so already they did the job instead of me. So they tested it with the different speeds and the powers. We also have here some, uh, I think this is anodized aluminum, stainless steel, black acrylic and uh, some plywood and this is six millimeter thick this is the laser module there is a big fan and properly it will be very loud during the operation this is for the setting the focus a distancer and this is plug for the air for the air assist and here you can see the nozzle for it and it is not so heavy so it is good the maximum power is 33 watts now let's talk about this air pump. The power is 10 watts and the air output 25 liters per minute. The noise only 34 decibels, so probably the fan on the laser module will be louder compared to this uh, pump. And it is very light and um, I'm not sure, I hope it will be powerful enough, but don't worry, this will be tested in this video too. And now the assembling, but as you can see, the frame is completely assembled already. All I have to do is to mount the laser module, plug the air pump and the power supply unit, and it's ready for the work. Okay, let's take a quick look. So on the side, we can see the plug for the power and for the USB. This is emergency stop button, on-off button. This is for the key, and this is probably light for the alarm. And this is slot for the SD card. I already mentioned it used the linear rays not only on X axis but also on Y axis. There is a limit switch. And from the bottom we can see this is the plug for the air pump. And this is the switch for the flame detector. And this is antenna for the Wi-Fi connection. What I'm really missing from this packaging is some protection sheet. And maybe even some honeycomb grid which is great if you do some cutting because of the better airflow. Another small positive thing that these plugs are on the side because several times I saw they place it on the top and then those cables don't look nice and they are in the way if you want to press the emergency stop button. 
Another small thing I noticed, this is plug for the rotary motor unit, you know, if we want to engrave some cylindrical elements. In that case, the y-axis will be replaced with that uh, rotary element. And you don't have to do the rewiring, you can just plug it here and use this switch that uh, you are using this plug. In this uh, direction, it is using the y-axis motor, probably somewhere here. So these are those most important materials I'm using in this review videos. I will start with silimeter-thick plywood and after this I will have some kind of documentation for this engraver. And also I will try cutting of silimeter MDF wood, which is very hard for cutting for weaker lasers. And that's silimeter black acrylic. This card was included in the kit, but I will use this because uh, to be sure that it is the same material. And engraving stainless steel. And after this I will try those materials sent by the ECMR. For software I will use both. Laser GABL is a free software but available only for Windows. Don't forget you have to install here the CH340 driver and then set the COM and baud rate and before the connection. And here you can do only one type of the operation. The Lightburn is more advanced software, not completely free, but it is available on Macintosh and Linux too. And here you can combine different speed, power, air assist in one operation. Let's turn it on. Unfortunately, the fan is loud, but not so loud like some other 30 Siva diet lasers, but unfortunately it is always on. Uh, let's measure the noise. From half meter distance, 63 decibels, only the fan. And with enabled pump, 64 decibels, very quiet pump. I'm starting with engraving of 3mm plywood and from now on I will narrate the video because this will be too big noise for the background. I'm starting with engraving and this footage is speeded up 5 times. And these are speeds in millimeters per minute, this is the power and on 4000 millimeters per minute 60% power I will do my engraving of my tech fan logo, here you can see my settings. And here I want to mention that with M7 you can enable the pump and with M9 you can disable it or you can create a custom buttons too. And this is real time speed engraving of my tech fan logo. It is very sharp, uh, only I can see some lines, but this is because of that uh, plywood. And then I needed some experimenting for the grayscale images. And again, I can see that I will have problems with these lines. I'll start to engrave here that grayscale image. And this is end of that engraving in real time speed. And very ugly picture. Then I tried again using the same G code. And here you can see huge differences. So it is very important for the nice engraving to have a good quality wood. Now I'm moving to cutting, this is 3mm thick plywood and this footage is speeded up uh, 8 times and I'm using the RSS here. First three squares are cut and out. The maximum was 600mm per minute and I got very nice and clean cuttings but uh, where it didn't cut I can see a burned edges and again I can see that in X direction it is stronger compared to the Y direction. And now it's time to test the RSS pump. First I'm testing with this water and uh, I can see that it could be a little bit stronger compared to my earlier similar testings. And here they are side by side. And again with the air I can see it is cleaner but the difference is not uh, too big. Now let's try to cut 6mm plywood. I'm setting the focus. And I will use the air assist here. This is speeded up four times. And the first three cuttings are cut out. Maximum is 400 millimeters per minute full power. And I have a documentation card for this engraver too. And now let's try to cut 3 millimeter thick MDF. This is very hard for cutting for some weaker laser engravers. And again, this part is speeded up. And uh, surprisingly, it was cutting out even on 500 millimeters per minute speed, full power, of course. And the fitting is very nice, very small gap between two parts. And then cutting 3 millimeter black acrylic. And usually the settings are very similar, like with that MDF wood 3 millimeters. And I use the same G code basically here. And again, it was cutting out even on 500 millimeters per minute speed. Now on this black surface it is a little bit hard to see the spot of the laser during the framing. Now let's engrave this stainless steel and usually I'm using 200mm per minute speed to engrave the initials of the laser engraver. 
I could do it faster, but I want to compare them side by side. Cleaning with isopropyl alcohol. And this engraving is deep into the surface. And one more stainless steel engraving, and here I have this flask. And I tried first my method, so I use here the black marker. And I use very slow 1000 mm per minute speed here, and it was too slow, so it was very burnt. And then I followed the instructions provided in the PDF. This is on 3000 mm per minute speed, and this engraving was fantastic. Pity that I ruined it uh, the first time. And then I tried to cut this uh, 20 mm wood, but in X direction it is stronger, so I am um, rotating it uh, 90 degrees. And I forget to set here the air assist, so it was cut without air. I could see some flames, but it was cut in two passes. And then I uh, cutting a circle, again only with the two passes, but this time I enabled the air assist. And uh, it was cut and I, I had to use a little bit force because there was uh, on one side a little bit stronger. Now let's try this 30 mm black acrylic. And I'm using here 200 mm per minute speed and I tried uh, 10 passes. And it was cut. In. Actually, I could see a very nice progress at the beginning, but later when it was out of the focus, it needed uh, smaller passes, and this can be seen on the cross-section too. But yes, it can cut 30 millimeters. Okay, let's try to engrave glass. And I follow the instructions provided by the ECMR, using the black marker on the surface, cleaning with isopropyl alcohol, and I can see that using exactly the pro uh, suggested settings is not enough. So I slow it down and raise the power, and this time it is acceptable. And again I will try to cut out the logo on this uh, key holder. Footage speed it up four times. I'm using the air assist here, and it was perfect. Very nice. Uh, I could uh, increase the scale a little bit, the size, but uh, look out, even the cutting out part uh, letters are very sharp. Now the conclusions, and now we start with positive things, which I like, and I really like that uh, it is almost already out of the box, because the frame was completely assembled. I really like that it used the linear rays on X and Y axis, and it has uh, nice uh, small details too. For example, I really like this distancer for setting the focus, because it is always here, I don't need a separate object which I will lost by time or similar. And I really like that this glass is not very dark, so I can still see the spot during the framing of the boundary check, but don't forget to always use the safety glasses. I also really like that this air pump is automatic, so it can be turned on and off by the software. Now things which uh, I didn't like so much, the, about this air pump. Uh, for the weight I thought it is very weak, but the air nozzle is quite good, it creates a nice sharp air beam, so it works correctly, but I could still see some a little bit burned edges on uh, thicker materials, so I think a little bit stronger air pump would be a little bit better. Just a reminder, they are selling a stronger air pump too, so if you are planning a lot of wood cutting, you should consider buying a stronger pump. But it works on separate AC power only, so it cannot be operated by the software. Or you can do some DIY hack to make it operate by the relay, which can be turned on and off by those 24 volt outputs from the engraver. The fan, it is not the loudest compared to the other 30 watt diode lasers, but it would be good if it would turn off when the module is not operating. It's a little bit hard to sit next to it a couple of hours and listen to those uh, 63 decibels. And it would be good if they could include some kind of protection sheet, you know, for the desk, because if it is ready out of the box, maybe somebody don't have this kind of sheets, but he would like to start using it immediately, because it is really nice that they included some sample materials in the base package. That was my experience with the ECMR P2 30 watt diode laser. If you have some other experience, you know, fill us in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy and safe engraving.